So, John, why doesn't research turn into policy? Well, it does, is the answer. And, of course, the reason that the community is so concerned about the environment is that uh, scientists have been effective in informing them about the risks of climate change. Uh, of course, they could do better. Of course, they could interpret their material in much more accessible ways. And, but many are trying to do that. And I'm really impressed by the quality of the commitment of many scientists in being advocates for policies that will change the amount of uh, greenhouse gas emissions. I think, I think uh, uh, there's uh, a very high level of social responsibility among scientists on the whole. Most of the time, I think it does translate into policy, but of course the journey of how it gets translated into policy is a very, very, um, how to say, it's a variable story. It's not always easy. So, and it also depends on what kind of research. And some research are more easy than the rest to be translated. But I think for those that, of course there are also uh, research that doesn't translate. And I think most, in those cases, it's probably due to the fact that it's uh, difficult to be understood. It's, it's a matter of communication. It's a matter of translating the research to, no, to local people, to normal people, or to policy makers. Yes, yes, most definitely. I think research informs policy. I think, you know, down from the grassroots level of the education of people receiving on climate change and then putting it into their research, up to them informs, informing the policymakers on, you know, what's going to happen or, and, and what, what outlooks they're looking at. It's informing on their decisions that they're making and what they're building today. Like it or not, but there is no such thing as independent research. And uh, I think the research that, that is coming close to, uh, close to reality, close to policy, actual policy, is more difficult to bring across than research which is more on, on uh, the greater climate change issue. And it's easy to bring to the table uh, the, the evidence of a changing climate. It's much more difficult to bring to the table evidence of um, flawed policies, even in those countries that are promoting uh, high-profile climate policies. I think it's, it's the lack of communication between science and policy and also the disintegration of um, Within, like, within their historical development and also some people who choose to do scientists are not aware or choose not to be aware of how policy um, are going on in, in their um, surrounding. In Nigeria we have a lot of research work. I work in a research institute but um, not, mu not much of it turns into policy. They just don't take it to read. They don't take it up at all. And uh, we, we, we try to address the issue. We try to compress a lot of our work into like single pages so that, you know, the, 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 the issue is always, always, they don't have the time. They don't have the time to read. So we, we've tried compressing and we are, we're just waiting to see if that will help. Well, that, 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 was, that, was, that was a recent move, you know. And we're hoping it will help, but for Nigeria, it's just about politics. Maybe we need persons in between the research community and the public also. People who can maybe don't have the weight of being always having the scientific proof in the back, head of, back of their heads all the time. So communicating the results can be sometimes fun, it can be inspiring, maybe they the science community could use different methods, new methods, maybe the social media for communicating the results. We have to find new, better ways to communicate. We do a lot of research. We try very hard to make them transform into policy. How does it work? Because you need to present it in the language that policymakers understand. Most research 
researchers sit on high horses, stand on pedestals, and don't bother to demystify their research and make it intelligible, not only to policymakers, but to ordinary citizens. So you blame the researchers? Very much so. It's language that counts, finally. Communication is all. Thank you.